Unless you've been living under a rock, you probably have heard some of the big controversy for water and if it's wet. But why does this concept have such two varying answers? Before we start, it is important to understand that the feeling of being wet is a perceived sensation. According to UCSB Science Line, wetness is the ability of liquid to adhere to the surface of a solid. This means that in order to consider something wet, it must be able to adhere to a surface. Saying that water is allegedly wet is like saying that wood is hard or fire is hot. But before we get too far ahead, we should probably understand some of the basic properties of water. But wait, before you click off because you think science is boring, I just want to tell you that if you bear with me for 30 seconds, it will totally be worth it. And plus, it does help with watch time. I think it's fair to start off by saying that water is a chemical structure made up of two hydrogen and one oxygen atom. Some of the main properties of water are polarity, cohesion, adhesion, and a quick side note on cohesion is hydrogen bonds hold water molecules together. Cohesion also creates surface tension, which is why if you fill a spoon with water, drop by drop, the water volume will actually be bigger than the spoon's surface before the water falls off. So now that you have the basic idea of water, let's see if the, we can create a final decision. Richard Sicali, a University of California Berkeley chemistry professor who specializes in water, states that water is wet because of strong tetrahedral hydrogen bonding. To further prove the point, the well-known YouTube channel Action Lab did a full-fledged experiment to prove water's wetness. Based on the chart, water plateaus at about 99% wetness. It would virtually be impossible to create 100% water because there are other chemicals mixed in. Even water from your tap has other ions and minerals in it and even chlorine to help with purification. So whenever we use the term water, there's always something else in there, which therefore means that, well, water is always wet. The only caveat is, is that if we could make 100% water, then it would not be wet. So in the end, it's all best to agree that water is indeed wet, or at least till we can make 100% water. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I know this, this is a fun video. Um, I was requested a lot in the comment section, and I decided to make it. And hopefully now you can go tell your friends that water is not wet unless we had. I mean, water is wet unless we had 100% water. Anyway, as always, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Definitely share so we can spread the word. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.